Generic greetings and welcome back to Power Wash Simulator. In the previous episode, we managed to finish the house, the house or the house, depending on where you were from. Other accents and dialects are available, and that was okay. The roof was the most annoying part, but we got it all done, which was pretty good. That's a hundred percent there. And we now have two new places to clean. Clean the shoe house, which is in the Great River Country National Park or the skate park. We're gonna go with the house because that's 450, which means we can afford the biggest power wash of two grand, and then for the equipment we can get a couple of nozzles and I do stress a couple of nozzles uh, so we'll have to see, we'll have to see uh, what the deal is with that one uh, yeah let's just go over to the shoe house then so shoe house it says thank you and so much for helping ain't you a sugar as nice uh, as it is having our play school in the forest, it does leave open to the elements. The poor things now so mucky it's starting to rub off on the children. The old days we'd fl fill a few buckets and the children would do it themselves top to bottom. Such fun and most of them come to no harm. <laughs> most of them. So uh, nowadays they're not even allowed to be on the roof, never mind the guttering. Father parents get all ang angsty. If you could please come over and give it a wash down, that would be grateful. Start the job and let's get this clean now this will hopefully be quite a short job so we shall see how we get on and oh yes okay so i'm having a quick look around uh we've got a norm that is physics uh yeah well we've got physics it's his physics applied to it. Lots of norms there. I don't know if this achievement's knocking all the norms down. But as you can see, the house is... Well, it's dirty. Um, there's, there's no getting about that. So let's go ahead and get this cleaned. So I'm going to start with the front door. I'm going to assume that it is uh, majority made of wood. Uh, boot wall is universal, actually. So, okay. That's fine. Um, this is probably not going to be the easiest of jobs because you can see there's a lot of angles in this. So, yeah, we'll have to uh, sort of focus on that a little bit. And also, I don't know if you can see there, because of the, because of that, we're going to have to get the ladder all ready. I'm going to get get the steps here and put them there, just so we can stand on top and get up the top. There we are. And can I get up on top of the boot? I can get up on top of the boot, which is good. And oh, all the shoelaces are separate pieces as well there we go so there's that done we'll get the steps done as well oh no actually the door we need to get that done so i'll use the spiralizer nine million there we go and get in the door and there's that clean right over to the favorite nozzle which is the muck remover 15 degree and we're just gonna spray these steps down and there you are i'm assuming i'm gonna fall off this thing more than once that is almost a given it's really satisfying getting all of this, like, moss off and mildew. Look at that. Oh, yes. That's very nice indeed. Spring under there. Got these banisters as well that I'm there. Spray down while we're at it. Obviously, there's going to be huge amounts of overspray. It's going to be hitting the main shoe part of the property. There's the stairs all clean. And strange enough, bottom bit is classed as banister. I'm also noting that this ain't shifting the muck. Spiralizer is though. Yeah, it's okay. And there's that nice and clean. Alright, we've got this to move. Can I can I not move it? What's it stuck? <laughs> pick up and place equipment. I can't pick it up. <laughs> I think I've got it stuck. <laughs> um It's not giving me any option to move it. Hang on. There we go. That's fine. Right, let's go ahead and... Oh, that is actually the saw. Let's just say saw as well for that. Right, good. And we're just going to clean all of, like, the plant pots and window boxes and, like, the details of this thing. Because we'll have so much overspray. That will end up getting the majority of the, the boot anyway. Or maybe not the majority of it, but certainly a vast proportion. Uh, 
Okay. There's that angle when you come to this side, just do that. Window frame's done. There's that window. A little wooden trim here. And over this. There's plastic window boxes. Have to jump a little bit just to get up the top there. And underneath. On the other side. Another bit of trim. There we are. And this is actually window frame it's classed as, yep. Yeah. The windows themselves are quite dirty. You know, it's got a lot of really thick, caked on muck on them there. To get the zero degree nozzle on or the spiralizer, most likely. Get my trim as well. And back to these windows. We're already on 11% cleaned. It's not going to be a it's not going to be a massive job, but it's not going to be a small job either because it's quite intricate. And eventually we'll have to be on that roof as well. Tripping over the shoelaces as well on the roof, <laughs> most likely, so... I would say that is not overly desirable, but it's what we have to do. It's what we've been paid to do. There we go, there's the trim. And we've got the window, there you are. There's little bits of trim to go down there. I haven't done the sole. Oh wow, the eyelets are separate pieces, is it? Yeah, the eyelets are classed as separate pieces. Right. Well, while I'm here, I might as well get all of them done if I can. At least a, a lot of them. There we go. I guess we'll have to attack it from up top as well. Back to this trim. There you are. And onto this window. We'll do the window boxes. Unlike the park, there's no bins to clean or anything like that. There's a bit of a little ting under there. Oh, there's a tiny little bit of framework there. Which we may see on the other side as well. Um, it's unlikely that I'll be able to get up the top there done without the aid of a ladder. But we'll see, we'll try our best. And there we go. Switch the spiralizer. Uh, apparently Matt said you got a stinky butt butt. But what? I wouldn't trim. And even more wooden trim. There we go. And all the way down. Obviously it's going to require us to work this side as well. There we are. There's trim up there. I'm going to have to get the ladders to do that. There's no sense in fighting that, really. And if there's a piece down here. Hmm. Seem to be. And we're back at the front. Oh, there was a little piece there, yeah. Okay, so. This will be the majority of the down bits done. We're already at 26%. on the job. Even then it's 
really kicked on dirt. And we'll start with cleaning the boot wall. Also got this bit here, which is a saw, which I did notice is thicker on this side. <laughs> which is nice. Nice little touch there. Oh, that has to be some of the most satisfying, because it, it, it's very high contrast. You've got this, like, green mildew on here. Moss or something. And then underneath you've got, like, the grey and then the, and the yellow as well. So you're cleaning it, and you're just getting this sort of night and day transformation on it. There we go. Um, probably do this wall. I don't know, I'm going to get that wood trim. It's not going to be easy, that's for sure. But we'll see what we can do. That's because I set up a bit of boot wall. And see if I can clean that. Can't really get it fully clean up there. Even that trim. Yeah, it's definitely some sort of uh, scissor lift or cherry picker or lift of some kind. It is very much desired. Just trying to get. His eye looks done. This boot wall is not classes done either. There is the now. And some of the wooden trim that I didn't realise was dirty. And there's that eyelet. And then we'll just work our way through here. I'm 38% already. We'll take a step back in a second to see the fruits of our labour. Really finish up this bit. Oh yeah. That's nice. Just the tour cap here to do. And then the other side and then everything up above. So loads actually. <laughs> We're almost done apart from the uh, loads of bits that ain't done. But certainly so far no cleaning solution at all required. And unlikely that we'll need it too. So obviously we are actively trying to avoid it. Um, I guess while I'm down here I may as well... I want yoghurt tube. Johnny bit me, I ate his yoghurt. Charlie bit me. That's that's an old meme, sir, but it checks out. Yes, I'm just cleaning up the top there, because there's no reason to leave it and then have to come back down. I'm working on the salt. And I'm assuming we could put some sort of deep thought and comment into that, working on the soul. I guess we are working on the soul. It is a relaxing game. So, yes. Physically and metaphorically, we are working on the soul. And apparently on the boot wall as well. That's the bit that just went ting when we completed it. So there you go. 45% clean, it's not going to be a big job, but I have a feeling that it's going to be quite a nuisance up the top. I think this is... This could possibly be the quickest... <laughs> the fastest uh, part of the process up here, to be honest. There we go. And then 
because of the overspray, you can see that a lot of it's already been done as well, so I'm happy about that. Glad we made that decision. Again, when I working from the top might have been better, but as we get it done, the fine details are not really something we care too much about. There we go. And then just this sole here. I think we're being quite efficient with the way we're doing it. And we're using no cleaning solution, so it's all non -to all non toxic. All good for the environment. And you know, it's not gonna harm any of the kids that end up playing on this thing. So we're being conscious of that too. So the soil's got a bit of dirt in places, an option. There we go, and there's the soil cleaned as well. Cleanse the soil. And up here is going to be some of the more annoying. I might pick the ladder up to see what options we get for placing the ladder. Hoping for good things, but we shall see. Because of the distance, we're not getting a huge amount of cleaning effectiveness. There's that done now. I'm pleased with. Might even get this bit as well. Because of the angles. I don't think that's the wall we're going to get. Okay, let's go around. We'll get the ladder. We'll see what we can do. So, I have to pick up ladder and we can go up here like that. Alright, yep, yeah, that's not too bad. There we go. And clean some of the trim. Top of the eyelets as well. And some of the laces. Because of the overspray, I'm getting a lot of that. Let's just climb to the top of the ladder and get what we can up top here. New job available. There's even more jobs. Okay, so there's more jobs in the game than I give it credit for, to be honest. Um, that's good. It's like the ladder is in the way of the job. Going to swap that nozzle out with a standard short extension. Doesn't prevent us from cleaning it close in distance. What's concerning is... How am I going to get up there? Under there is a problematic as well. Whoa! Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, I'll clean that. Spiralizer on the job. I need to do the window frame. We're doing quite nicely here. Under there. I'm going to switch to just working on this side. And that's just basically a bit of waste of old time. That's better. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Just work on this. That's just that just says roof, so we'll do our best for that bit of the roof. And the wooden tops that says as well. Oh that's good. It's been a bit I think it's been generous there. <laughs> there was a lot of green mildew and such there. But it let us off with that. And same as that one. So not a complaint, just an observation. Let's go up here. 
And this is the wooden top. It's all one whole section. I've been thought put into what we can we can get access to. And the different angles that we're able to attack it from. While I'm here, I'm just trying to do all of this under peace. Because there's no point in coming back if we don't. No point in coming back if we don't have to. Boot wall here. Don't really ingrain muck on this boot wall. There we are. And just bringing the ladders around where we need to take them. So we can trim an eyelet, which we've cleaned some of in the boot lace. Shoe lace is quite dirty. But we'll get what we can. Nice for the wooden trim. On the down there as well. We're on 69 percent. And as I said, we'll do the roof bits while we're here. Hopefully, any bit that we're left with, we can come back. Or maybe not come back, but we'll be able to get uh, just by using the zero degree pressure nozzle boot walls done. For this one I'm just going to attack it with the spiralizer. Well, it's not really doing it. It's not too bad. Well, in fact it doesn't seem to be touching it at all. Gonna have to be further up. I reckon this will get it. Oh yeah much better. Okay. And there's that done. That's window cleared. Um, I think we can just go up here and do the top of the boot. So we'll do the trim. Because just like before, we'll get that overspray. And looks like our prep has worked out because we can now get the boot wall, the front of this boot, hopefully without having to go, yeah, down the bottom. Excellent. A little bit of forethought goes a long way. And there we are. One of these laces are individual by the look of it. I'm just going to clean the shoelaces individually there. We've got this window, but let's go back to this. Oh, is that trim all one? Oh yeah, that wooden trim's all one. Okay, so I think I will clean that then. There we go. And I guess this is the same. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. So all the way up there. Nice. That's the frame. Oh, it's got like a like a jut, a section that juts out there. Okay. Didn't notice that at first. Um, yeah, boot wall, we're, gonna, we're working down this. It says boot wall, I would say boot roof, but let's not get too pedantic about it. Bits I'm leaving as well. Bit of a downside that when you press tab you get all of the dirt that you've missed. But it's difficult to see because it's almost the same colour <laughs> of this in the sunlight, so... Yeah. 
So just working out from all different man all different angles here. Attack from one side, go right under the Oh yeah, there's it's all under there. Attack it from there. Go this side. Attack it from there. You've got like behind all the shoelaces. And there we go, there's that. Right, so it's just getting in here now. Clean the window up. I think the frame I most likely have to use the spiralizer on that. Bit of cleaner wouldn't go on this as well. See, so, yeah, so far the most stubborn stains have been on the glass and on the window frame. There we go. There's a glass done. Now I'm going further back, which is going to reduce the cleaning potential. I might even convince that is cleaning that, uh, that section there. I might get a cleaner on that, you know. Mm. Haven't decided yet. I get the chimney for fairly well from up here, actually. So there's loads of dirt on this, it says you've missed. There. Yeah, it's just really caked on. It's very difficult to see as well. Same as the tiles. Difficult to see on there. But anyway, keep cleaning this. Just because of the angles. These loads up there. Okay, I need to get that ladder. Let's go up here. Let's get this roof done. Oh, it's all curved as well. Clean off this chimney. I have a feeling someone's going to fall off a roof here. And I think that person might be me. I'm obviously doing my best not to fall off. There we go. I've had six ankle replacements this month. So we'll do the ridge cap as per. And then we'll see what's left. Not much. We're 88% clean. And I have a feeling that this roof's gonna be a big part of that anyway. Not a lot of caked on muck. In fact, most of it is just the standard sort of mud. But we are cleaning it off the best we can. You've also got that mildew as well, that green. Which, to be fair, where it's situated in this forest, obviously it'll probably be damp and humid. You know, you're bound to get that sort of build up. And it's good that that detail like that's been added to these. Still don't know why a couple of houses that we visited are next to an active volcano. Or a, maybe a charcoal factory. <laughs> <laughs> I paint kingdoms and castles again. Nobody likes to live next to a charcoal burner. Hmm? Did Banish have that as well? I can't remember. That's a game I'm not playing quite some time, that's a shame. Right, we'll uh, 
almost finished the roof. At least appears one could say finished the roof, but the game's not really letting up on it. It's basically saying, no, you've not done a good enough job on this. See, this is the roof. If I go down here, it's all those. See that there? That's where we've got a lot of it. Oh no, that's, that's wall. So, can I not use any extension at all? Yeah, just the stubby. And we're as far up the ladder as we can possibly get. Oh, this is concerning then. as well. Yeah, this seems to be a really difficult task to complete. Oh, so we're using the stubby bit. Oh, there we go. That's really clean. That's good. That's good. So can I get any further? Oh. There we go. That's okay. We're ninety seven per cent. Get on that side. We knew because of the angles there's gonna be some bits that are more difficult than others. We've certainly found it. <laughs> um we might have to Might have to get over there. I'll tell you what, we might be able to do the same thing this side. Let's get to the top. Yeah, that's a little bit further. Yeah, that's okay. 99% cleaned. Wooden top's done. And it's just saying wall now. You just get tiny sections done. Yeah, there's wall. So is it just the window? There's bits up there. Pick this up. Put it there. Come up. Pick it up and put that there. Ah, there we go. Much better. Much better. And... Oh, there's this front wall by the look of it. Job complete! Alright, so that is job complete. Let's have a quick look at the time lapse and... <laughs> yeah, you can see I went around the back. Still work around the back and then... All this front bit. Not too bad at all. You wonder the play school looks beautiful. Very good. It's not funny. It's not funny. The children are so calm now. I hear the birds of the forest again and the wind rustling through the leaves. Even my own heartbeat. I hope that's normal. <laughs> okay. So we have now. Oh, we have clean the forest cottage. That looks nightmarish. And clean the vintage car. I think we will treat ourselves to the heavy duty. That's the Prime Vista 3000. There's no professional duty, by the way. So we've got the most expensive, or we've got the most uh, heavy duty one we can get. So we're going to have to go through, and anything that's uh, to do with the Prime Vista 3000, we're going to buy. So you've got the long extension. Oh, that's the U2. We don't want that. We want the. Uh, Hmm. We're not going to get the soap nozzle. We've got the short extension and the long extension. I'm going to pick the sh I'm going to pick the long extension. It's the one we use the most. And yeah, I think we'll leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Power Wash Simulator. 
Not as long as the previous uh, episodes, but that's fine. Next episode, we will most likely check out the car. Because that's 200, that'll, make, that'll get us the other nozzle. The other extension, should I say. And then, we're going to do the skate park or the cottage. Most likely the skate park because, well, frankly, the cottage is... Well, it's another house, so I'd rather try something like that. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, episode and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.